You know when you see that beautiful sweater and then you touch and you put on, it's just the scratchiest thing ever, like from head to toe, <laughs> if you feel this, this video will be really helpful. We're not gonna be talking about the scratchy knits. We're gonna be talking about the softest knits from Cezanne. And if you have ever experienced any scratchy knits, I want you to write in the comment, what was the scratchiest knit you've ever tried? And what's the softest one? It could be from other brands too. It doesn't really matter, but I wanna hear from you so we can all help each other. If you're very sensitive to wool, I would say your best bet here would be to stick with cotton cardigans. And I'm gonna start talking about them. This one that I'm wearing, for example, it's 100% cotton, it's the Gary Jumper, and I have that in blue as well. I have both in size small, which is my usual size. This one doesn't feel buttery soft, but it's also not scratchy. So it's not the kind of knit that you're gonna put on and it feels like cashmere, like so soft, but it's also not something that will cause any irritation to your skin. So I love this one. I have a review on pretty much everything that you're seeing here today. So I'm not gonna be talking about all the details, it's just real quick so I can give you a feedback on the scratchiness. Another recommendation is the Leontine, and I have this in two colors. I love this sweater, not just how it feels, but also the fit. Again, it's the same situation, it's not the kind of niche that's buttery soft and it feels plush. Um, it kind of feels even rough when you touch, but it's not scratchy and it doesn't feel itchy at all. So I love the fit. Similar to this one, I have the Brie Jumper, which is fantastic. This one is so good. I love the fit, love how it feels. And it's very similar to the Leontine, actually. It's a cable knit, but 100% cotton. It doesn't feel too bulky. So one of my favorite sweaters by Cezanne. I think they have this in another color. And one that's available right now is the Felix Jumper. I'm going to be linking all of these below, but some of them are no longer available maybe in different colors, but I'll still link just in case you wanna check them out. This is Felix in 100% cotton, and it's also really, really soft. I love how it fits. I sized down for mine because I wanted just like a layer piece, but you can simply get just your usual size and it should be fine. I love how it feels. It's very lightweight and definitely not scratchy. One more piece that I own in 100% cotton is the Marietta jumper. This one feels more plush and I got during the archives in the beginning of the year, so I didn't get a chance to wear, but it's a great knit. I don't think this is available, but perhaps you could find in the pre-loved market. I do think it's worth it because it looks so good on you, like it's super, super flattering. There is a couple of knits that I don't have, but I know they are super soft. It's the Matisse sweater, which is a lot more expensive than these that I'm mentioning here, and there's also the Adela cardigan. Ruben cardigan as well. All of these, they are really, really soft. They are all 100% cotton. And even though I don't have them, I have tried or touched when I went to the store. And I would highly recommend if you have a sensitive skin. One knit that I wore a lot is this one, the Capucine sweater. And this is so good. This is a great knit if you have a mild climate or if you're, you know, mostly you have summer, lucky you. I wear this a lot in the summer during the cooler days or like late spring when it's starting to get warm, but it's not quite warm yet. So I love this. It's 100% cotton, super, super comfortable. And because it's an open edge, like I said, it's perfect if you're not in a super cold, you know, weather uh, place. Love this one. I think they have this in the archives right now in pink, but I'm gonna take a look and link for you guys. So Zen has some beautiful cotton knits, but if you're like me, you're likely gonna be just in love with the scratchiest pieces because they are the most beautiful ones, at least to me. I feel like the wool pieces are just so incredibly beautiful. And I try to sort out some of them that are the softest ones, so perhaps you can tolerate. I think this is very subjective. For some people, it might be super soft. For other people, not that soft. But I'm gonna try and tell you how I feel about these. So the next category we're gonna talk about, it's wool and that is 100% wool. But we're talking about merino wool. So the first one I wanted to mention, it's one of my most recent purchases, is the Abigail jumper, buttery soft. This feels like a cloud, and it's 100% merino wool. Not all of them feel 100% soft, I have to say. I've tried the Jacob jumper, I've tried Paolo, and I did not find them super soft. They were still a little bit prickly. I could feel in some areas of my skin, a little bit of irritation just felt like really scratchy here and there 
but this one is just so soft everywhere and if you're not a fan of the low neck they have a new version now the eleanor i'm gonna link below that's very similar it's in a cardigan style but you can just adjust like close the buttons and then it's gonna be fine so i love this one similar to that there is the lewis jumper i didn't keep that one but i reviewed a few weeks ago and it's wonderful it feels really amazing one niche that it's probably one of my most recommended ones is a lena jumper and i have reviewed that just keep in mind, I have a review on pretty much all these knits here. So if you want specific information, you can either ask me below. I'm going to be super happy to answer. That also helps with the algorithm. So never feel shy to ask because when you ask me something, it's actually wonderful. <laughs> the Lena jumper I have in three colors so you know how good it is. And I have washed this. If you haven't watched my video on how I wash and take care of my wool knits, you should definitely take a look because it's very informative. The Lena is buttery soft. It feels like a blanket. I love this so much. I don't feel any scratchiness anywhere. The black version is the same and the raspberry version all the same. They all feel super, super soft. This one has the gold buttons and I think it's just a piece of art. I think this niche is so well done. All the details are simply fantastic. And of course, I could not forget to talk about Betty. Betty is one of my favorite cardigans knits from Cezanne. This is 100% merino wool and this one is really soft. It can be worn as a jacket, it can be worn as a sweater with the buttons all closed, or it can be worn as a cardigan. Super versatile, I have quite a few of these. By the way, I have a video sharing my entire knitwear collection, so definitely a good video for you to take a look at. If you are curious to see, I have to update them because I have sold some of those and I also added new ones but I would definitely do that in the future. So if you want that video, let me know below and I'll be happy to make that one. Another wonderful niche that I have recommended many times is the James Jumper. That's 100% merino wool and it's really soft. Just like the other one, it's like a plush. It feels, it feels truly like a blanket. You know those blankets that you put on your couch just for texture? I love the texture of this, the feel, how it fits. It's just gorgeous. I sized up for mine, but you don't have to. They do say actually you should get just your usual size or the size down. I don't know how. Because this, I could not have gone with an extra small. This is the medium. I already washed it, turned out perfectly, and I have it in two colors. But this one is softer than this one. And that's what we're going to start talking about the next category, which is the mixed fabric. So you're going to have a little bit of wool with a mix, like a blend with cotton or other materials. So in terms of mixed materials, I would say that it's a hit or miss because some of them can be super soft and others are not. But this James, for example, it's very soft when you touch, but to me, at least when I put on, I still feel a little bit of, you know, scratchiness here and there. It's not bad. So if you can tolerate easily, I think this could definitely be wearable and they do have that in many colors now i believe the ones that are 100 percent merino wool like this one will be the softest this one that has a little bit of a blend it's okay i would say maybe a one in a scale from zero to ten it's really not that bad but i just wanted to mention because i want you to know what to get another sweater that has mixed materials is the sony jumper and i love this it's extremely soft they have the Nael skirt, which is the matching piece. And there's also a sweater version of that because that's the cardigan. It has the buttons on the front, but they have the semi jumper that's equally soft. So I think if you're sensitive to wool, this would be a great option. Both of them actually feel amazing when you touch and when you put on. This one, I don't feel any scratchiness anywhere. Similar to that, but that's actually a surprise to me because one of you mentioned that you did feel a little scratchiness on that i don't know how because i don't feel any at all like this one is the maha jumper and i reviewed that just a couple of weeks ago this was incredibly soft i love how it fits how it feels how it looks it's just so beautiful i ended up keeping both of them the brown and the white because i just love the sweater so much and i got a black one so when i like something a lot i think it makes sense to stick to that instead of just venturing and getting other stuff. Some people would prefer to have a variety of sweaters, but when I feel like something fits me well and I really like and it can go with pretty much my whole wardrobe, I'd rather get like two or three pieces of the same type of niche than just getting lots of different things that I don't even know if I'm gonna wear, so don't judge me. 
I love this, really, really soft. So if you're sensitive to wool, I think that's definitely a good option. This one is a blend between wool and cotton. So to me, really, really soft. They do have another sweater that has the same ratio, actually. It's the Lucas jumper. But to me, all of the Lucas that I have, Lucas's, they are a little bit scratchy. They definitely have some hairs here and there that prick you. So I think um, Lucas is nice, but I'd rather just wear something underneath. Now continuing with the wool pieces, what else can you wear that has wool? I would say that from the ones that have mohair or alpaca, those can be tricky because sometimes the hair just can cause some irritation. For example, Othello is a wonderful knit. It is really soft. When you touch this, it feels like it's a pillow because it's just so, so soft. But honestly, when I put on, there's still a little bit here and there, like around my neck, that bothers me. So I can wear that. I can wear that without anything underneath. But if you're too sensitive, you can still feel the hair like here and there. I just wanted to tell you that because I don't want to come here and say, look, this is the most comfortable knit I've ever tried. And then you try and then you're like, ah, it's, it's scratching me. So I love Othello. If you're too sensitive, you don't have to say no to these sweaters. I think they're definitely wearable, even if you're too sensitive. But I would recommend wearing a shirt underneath. Something like that Uniqlo piece here that I have. I wear this all the time with my scratchiest knits. And not just that, it also protects the knits from your sweat and it makes it last longer. So I really love Othello. I think it's definitely one of the softest knits in wool that they have and highly recommend. They have this in so many colors now. It's really beautiful. Another one similar to that is the Amiel. So that's the same situation. You touch this, it feels like a pillow. It's so, so soft, but I still feel a little bit of scratchiness. So some of you recommended inside me, like you have to try Amiel. It's the softest knit I've ever tried from Cezanne. And yes, it is really soft, but again, if you're too, too, too sensitive, that might be still a little bit scratchy. So I would just say, try to wear that with something underneath. It is a great knit, it's super oversized, so you can absolutely wear something uh, underneath without feeling it's, it's too much, you know? It's like a great layering piece. This would be gorgeous with a shirt, like a collar shirt or something like that. Love, love, love Amiel. The Amance is actually not bad either. I do love this one. It feels really soft. Again, same situation. I guess I'm very sensitive to wool. I do feel some scratchiness here and there, but again, it's like a one on a scale from zero to 10. It's really not that bad. They have this in many colors now. And another knit that I didn't bring here, but I think I should mention is the Angeli. So that one is actually not too scratchy. Uh, I would say it's wearable, it's fine, even if you're sensitive. The thing with these knits is that sometimes you put on and then you feel it's so scratchy, but then after like one minute, it kind of adjusts, you know, your body adjusts to it. So it's a situation that happens to me many, many times. I would stay away from sweaters like a Kiel and even Basile and Mule. All of these, they can be slightly uh, scratchy if you're sensitive to it like the Lison, the Alma, the Anouk, all of these, to me at least, they feel quite scratchy. But this one, the Angelie, I think it should be fine. Again, if you're too sensitive, just put a shirt underneath and that's fine. There is also a trick. I've watched a couple of videos of people saying that they use vinegar. They soak the sweater in vinegar. And then after that, they rinse. They put a conditioner on the sweater and then they rinse. And then they put in a plastic bag and put in the freezer. Now imagine someone who lives with you opening the freezer to get ice cream and finding a sweater. You would think it's like a voodoo or something. I don't know. Anyways, there's definitely a way to keep your sweaters, um, you know, softer. So if you have a trick, let me know below. Would love to hear from you. Some knits that I don't have with me right now, but I've tried and I've heard great things about are the Louise jumper. They are similar to Amiel. That's what everybody told me, that it's really soft when you touch. And they, most of the people at least that I talk to, they don't feel any scratchiness. But knowing myself, I think I would still feel a little bit. So I would say the Louise, the Cody, I didn't feel any scratchiness at all. So it was a great, great jumper. I reviewed that a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, and it's wonderful. The Otis, the Otto, 
those two, they say it's really, really soft. But again, if you're too sensitive, maybe you have to just try and see how it's going to react, you know, how your skin's going to react. And the Henria and NIL. I would say that the NIL was slightly softer than the Henria. So maybe just skip on these and try to stick to other fabrics if you're really, really sensitive. And there's a couple that I wanted to mention that these are the ones in Visco. So the Dita jumper, it's really soft. The Charlotte, it's so good. I have the Charlotte in the almond green and it's, it's wonderful. It's so soft. But of course, it's a different kind of sweater. It's something that's more fitted. It doesn't feel like plush like these, right? Or oversized. It's just more of a top. It feels more like a blouse, a top, than actually a sweater, but it is considered knit. So I think these are really good. The Roma jumper, the Ronnie, they're all the same kind of fabric, like the Gianna dress. Those are so good. They do feel really nice. And I think it would be nice to, to mention, just in case, you don't want to try the cotton or you don't want to try the wool pieces or wool blend. I think these are definitely great options. Now, if you're too sensitive, I would stay away from some sweaters like these that I'm showing you here. These are the ones that I own. That's what was left from uh, all of these that I picked out for you today. But I do appreciate and I do love these sweaters so much and I wear them a lot. So again, I try to wear them with a shirt underneath, something very thin. One of you actually told me to try a super, super thin cashmere sweater, and I wanted to try that because it will add extra warmth, and it's going to be also a nice way to protect your skin and the knit from your skin. If you want, I will be happy to make another video in the future with the other brands that I have that are really soft. Perhaps I can just help you figure out some other brands that sell great knits and that are comfortable. So let me know. And don't forget to write to me as well in the comments which was the scratchiest knit you've ever tried and what was the softest one. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye-bye.